Hi, seventh graders. It's Miss Kaminsky. Hope everyone's doing good, staying safe, happy, and healthy uh, with their families at home. I miss you all terribly and can't wait to um, be back to school and see you all. On um, this week, we are up and running on Google Classroom. I post. I will be posting on um, your art projects, uh, your weekly art projects up there. I'll be giving you a short video every week to help you create your assignment and also give um, you handwritten directions as well. So we're gonna start our first art project. Um, it's gonna be the 3D portrait line design. Let's go over our materials. Uh, we need a piece of white paper. And if you don't have white paper, any light color paper will do. We need markers, any colors, like a variety of colors. See my markers here, I'm using Crayola markers. You can use any markers that you have in your house. If you don't have markers, you can use colored pencils. And you can use crayons even. You also need a pencil. You need a Sharpie marker, and if you don't have a Sharpie marker, you can use any black marker, any fine tip black marker or pen, even a blue like ballpoint pen you could use, and a ruler. And if you don't have a ruler in home, you could use the side edge of a piece of paper, you could use a piece of cardboard, a paper and a magazine, anything that has a straight edge will help you make straight lines for this project. So to begin, since we're making a portrait line design, we're gonna be drawing a profile. So a profile of a person is the side view of their face. This is just something that I drew quickly to show you. So a profile is the side of someone's face. It's just their side view. They could be to the left or to the right. It doesn't matter for your project, however you want it to be. So to start with your plain white paper, you're gonna use the whole paper. So if this is the top edge of my paper. The profile is going to start at the top of the paper and you're going to come down with the nose. Move this up so you can see it. And then you're going to draw the lips in profile, side view, and the chin, just like that. Start at the top, come down with the nose, the lips, and the chin. And each one is going to look different and that's the great thing. We want that. We all have our own unique style. They're not all going to look the same and you know that that's what we want. Now from the top, you wanna to separate the face from the hair. So this left side will be the hair. So you come down with a line like this, starting right at the top, curve it down to make it look like hair, and bring it to the edge of the paper, just like this. So this is what you have. And again, there's an image in the document in Google Docs. So if you need to look at that, you have it as well. Next, you're gonna draw an eye. Notice that your eye is above your nose. A lot of kids tend to would draw the eye here. Your eye was not across right from the bottom of your nose. It's a little bit higher. So go to about here and just draw an eye. Try to think about the shape of an eye, the natural organic shape of an eye. And you can draw a little eyebrow if you'd like. Next, you're gonna take your ruler and we're gonna be filling this space, the hairline, with lines, vertical lines. You want them to be kind of close together because when this drawing is done, it's gonna create a 3D effect. The face will be sort of hidden inside of all of these lines. So the hair then becomes straight lines and those will be in black and white. So I'm gonna do vertical lines. You could do diagonal in the hair. You could do horizontal lines. And fill up the entire hairline. Make sure you're using your ruler or straight edge, just like that. Now, we're not gonna go into the face. We're gonna go into this section of the background. I'm gonna do diagonal lines. You could do horizontal if you like. Just do them differently. Don't make vertical lines if you already made vertical lines. And you, you wanna have two different types of lines. And I'm gonna fill up this entire background space with diagonal lines. We're making a 3D line portrait design. You wanna make sure you line it up and use that straight edge. 
I'm sure everybody's doing a really good job. So you look, wanna fill in the gaps right here so it meets each other. So inside the face, we are not gonna be putting straight lines. That's where the difference is gonna come. So when you go to do the face, you're gonna add any type of lines and patterns that you want, but not straight. So right now, this is what it should look like. Two different kind of lines in the background, and then inside the face, just go ahead and just add any kind of lines or designs that you want, just to fill it up, fill up the space. Wavy lines, zigzag, circle, inside circles, any kind of shapes that you want inside the face. Just fill up that face. We are next going to be outlining with a Sharpie. Every single line. Does not matter where you start. Just go ahead and outline all your lines with Sharpie. I'm gonna start inside the face. Gonna go along the outside of the face, inside in the patterns, on the hairline. And if you go off the line a little bit, that's okay, make it thicker. That's a happy accident, right? Nothing you do on this project is bad or wrong. You can always fix everything in art. Trace over all your lines. And when you go to the background lines, I would definitely use my ruler again. Because you want to get that straight edge. So just put your ruler against your line. And go down. If you don't use the ruler, your lines are not going to be straight. Every single one, and you're gonna outline with Sharpie. You can make some of your lines thicker if you want to. That'll create a nice effect inside your design. You could do that just by filling it in more or by actually using a thicker marker if you have one. Now you want to go to the other background lines. Start outlining those. Make sure you use that straight edge. It's almost impossible to draw a straight line without a ruler or a straight edge. Even me, I can't even do it. It's pretty straight, but not as perfect as it is when I use a ruler. So I'm sure some of you are gonna um, ask about other art projects that like we've had when you guys had the packets, when you had to bring home the packets. I've only received very small amount from all my students from all the grade levels. So if any of you did that work from the packets before we were on Google Classroom, just take a picture of it and send it to me. Either um, email it to me at my Gmail or the school email or at patterson.k12.nj.us. Either one, just send me those in so you guys can get credit. There were three assignments, I believe, before we went to Google Classroom. If you have not turned those in, you can definitely turn them in and get credit for the fourth marking period. So now if your project looks like this and all your lines are outlined, I would take an eraser and I would just get rid of any extra pencil lines that you have. I have some pencil lines right there. I'll just kind of get rid of those. Make sure you outlined everything. If you forgot a couple of them, just quickly go ahead and outline them. And then you are ready to color. So for the coloring, the background is gonna be black and white and the inside of the face is gonna be colored. All these little shapes. And it's really up to you what colors you use. You could use two colors, three colors, six colors. 
You could just do warm colors. You could just do cool colors. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I will just do the cool colors. And I hope you all know what those are. But if not, the cool colors are purple, green, and blue. And they are the cool colors. I know you know this because they remind us of things that are cool, like a breezy day, rain, a spring day, the grass, the green grass. Notice I'm just skipping around and I'm coloring in the shapes. I'm using the side of the marker so that I don't ruin the point of my marker. I'm gonna get some more cool colors. Let's add some greens in there. And if you don't have markers, remember you can always use colored pencils, crayons. Maybe you wanna use just the warm colors. Hope you know what they are, I know you do. The warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. Maybe you wanna use those colors. Maybe you wanna do black and orange, blue and orange, red and green. Really, any color combination you'd like, but be mindful when you're picking your colors because there are certain colors, we know this from the color rail, there are certain colors that go well together, that look nice together. So pick other related colors or colors that are next to each other on the color rail that look nice. I'm coloring way too fast, but I just want to speed this up for you guys. I want you at home to color a little bit slower. It's a pretty color, I like that. I only have a few more spaces. It's a really cool like lime green, I like this color. So you take your time when you're coloring. And yeah, I'll put it right here too. Now for the eye, what color should I do for the eye? I think I'm gonna do light blue. I'm gonna color in the eyebrow. Black. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. And then you can go back in if you want and color some of the black lines may be a little bit thicker. Maybe not every one, I'm just doing like every other one. This will create more of a design. You could color in the whole thing if you want every other one. It's really up to you. And if you're having a hard time getting that straight edge, get out your ruler. You don't want the background to be all the same. You want some of those lines in the background to be a little bit thicker. All right, I think it looks pretty good. So that's what your project should look like when you're all done. Again, you can use any color combination that you want for the face. You can use any design that you want for the face. All right, I hope you all um, have a great time making this project. And if you have any questions or need any help, reach out to me. All right, I hope everybody's well. And I definitely hope to see you soon. Bye.